Chadra, Chadravo, Mo Sema, Chadravo, Sema. I offer in exchange for my mother's health, my soul. I was a girl. I summon you for my bidding. In exchange for my mother's health, I offer my soul. What the hell are you doing, Taylor? Get out! Where did you get this? I found it in the attic. What do you care anyway? At least I'm doing something. What are you doing to help her? I mean, it's like you don't even care about us anymore. How does it work? As long as you live under my roof, you are never to do this again. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. I understand they have a loser job they always get stuck going to. That loser job is the only thing paying your mom's medical bills and keeping the lights on around here. She's dying and... This isn't the answer, Taylor. You have no idea how dangerous this is. You don't know what you're dealing with. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know. You're just some nobody in this nobody town, just like every other nobody here. Yeah. Well, you're from here, too. If you want out so bad, get your grades up, get a scholarship, go to college and get a degree. You can get any job you want then. Anywhere we hear will be fine. Welcome. 
welcome. Another semester sounds great. Cheers. Amen to that. <laughs> hey. Where's Taylor? Hey, um, I think she's back over that way. Tell her we're ready for sound check. This is gonna be fun to watch. Taylor's told me a lot about you. Brad, stop. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. It's funny. You never mentioned him to me. He's just part of my class. We're talking about our fun. Stop being so dramatic. Am I being dramatic? Why are you even here? You asked me to bring your guitar, remember? Oh, yeah. So why don't you slow down? Why don't you stop telling me what to do? You're not my dad. That's right, I'm not. Goodbye, Taylor. Wake up, Brad's here. We need to wake up right now. Come on. Is it Brian? Get in the closet. No, Brad. I think he's here right now. Get Get in the closet. Get to me. Come on. You can't answer your father's texts or phone calls. My phone's dead. Are you still sleeping? It's one o'clock. One of the... Jesus Christ, Taylor, there's no wonder you're failing out of college. What do you want? We need to talk. Do we have to do this now? Yes, right now. Get dressed. Meet me downstairs. I'm coming out. Oh, God. Who's this? 
Just sit down. My name is Ron. I'm an attorney representing your aunt, Vanessa Bull. Uh, I'm sorry, did you say my aunt? Yes. And Dad, what's he talking about? Just let him finish. How'd you not tell me that Mom had a sister? What would you like to drink? Water. Please, lots and lots of water. Are you sure? No, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. Look, this would just take a second, yeah. and I'll be on my way. Yeah. I'm your aunt's attorney, and as the executive for a will, I'm instructed to give this to you in person. This is just like the one I found in the attic. Don't open that. Why? Because I said so. She also left you her property and all of her assets. Her assets? Yes, the property. It's a 150-year-old Victorian mansion, fully furnished and is paid for. This is the deed. Sign here. Great. I'll mail you a copy along with the title. Great. This is all the information you need along with my card. Okay. Feel free to call me if you have any questions. You take care of yourself. Still getting feedback from the monitor. Where the hell is she? Doesn't she know we're paying by the hour to be here? Chill out, she'll be here just keep playing. You guys would not believe the day that I had. Apparently, I have an aunt. Had an aunt. And she left me all of her property. No one cares. Plug in. I'm great, Riley. Thank you so much for asking. Seriously, why are you late? I mean, I thought you knew we only had two hours here. Did you not just hear me? I have a property. We could, like, rehearse there or play or have a show or something. How about we worry about Friday night's gig first, yeah? Hmm. I don't even know that you had it. Can we please chat about this later, please? Great. What is it? What, what? is it? Huh. Unfortunately, we must cancel our scheduled event on Friday due to the growing number of complaints received after our booking announcement. Can't be happening. Yeah, well, it's happening. Well, maybe if we rehearse like a real band, this wouldn't be happening. Just, just chill out, Riley. I'm sure there'll be plenty more gigs. They hate us. No, they don't. You guys, why don't we just have a show at my place? Oh yeah, like anyone is actually gonna go out of their way to come see us. Hmm. The baseball team won't even show up at our gigs now that you ruined it with Brad. He's just a dude. He doesn't determine our music careers. You know what? I'm getting out of here. Really? Are you serious right now? Yeah. Let's not make a big deal out of this. And real. Hey, bye. We are sending you this letter to inform you that you are being placed on academic probation and will not be eligible for a scholarship payment unless you're. GPA remains above a 2.5 for two consecutive semesters. Go, how'd you do? Not so great. We should talk to a guy I know in administration. Might be able to help you with that grade. Yeah, do you have his info? Yeah. I'm so thirsty. I'll get that information to you. Don't worry. Thanks. doing here? Something happened. I need to talk to you about it. Oh, 
Where's your friend Dylan? Tell him. I have a team meeting to get to. Brad, please stop. What? Apparently my aunt left me some property and my dad said it might be dangerous and I really need your help to go check it out. Aunt? You don't have an aunt. And I thought you didn't talk to your dad. Is this another one of your lies? No, I swear I'm telling the truth. I just found out. I don't care anymore. Go get someone else to help you. I'm out. Please, Brad, I failed my final and I'm gonna lose my scholarship. That's because you don't study. Please. If I don't figure this out, I'm gonna have to move back home. I can't do that, please. I need your help. What do you want me to do, Taylor? I can't study for you. Go get one of your other friends to help you, if you even have any more. It's not my problem. Please don't do this, Brad. Please. Changing outcomes. <sighs> Seven for the ring of three, I call upon another being. Rise for me to use and see, and I will give you my three for thee. Change my grade and allow me to stay. Mom, what the? Oh. Creepy at all. Wow, Mom. You were really beautiful. You look like a cool chicken, Linda. Wish I'd gotten in there any sooner.
were so what? so grown up, I guess. Okay. Can I help you with something? I'm Jacob. I've been doing some work on the property. I'm a, a friend of your aunt's. You've been wrestling pigs this afternoon? I've been doing some work at my uncle's across the street. I'm trying to fix it up. It's kind of a mess. See the sides kind of falling off? I've been trying to fix it up. Um, well, I'm her niece, Taylor. Yeah, I know. We met once when we were little. I'm really sorry about your mom. She was always really nice to me. You knew my mom? I did. Yeah, she'd come out here once a year and she'd do some work on the property. She'd always let me tag along and she'd show me how to do certain spells and rituals and whatnot. I'm sorry, did you just say spells and rituals? Yeah, from her journal. Anywho, I just wanted to stop by and say hi. Yeah. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Okay. It was nice meeting you. Or yeah, uh, um, seeing you again. Before you leave, do you know where the key to the room in the hallway is? Hey, where did you find that? Uh, she left it for me. Interesting. How's that? I didn't think she was still practicing after the incident. What incident? You, you mean the one that killed her? You could say that. Okay. What happened? You really don't know, do you? Your mom didn't tell you. No. My dad never even mentioned I had an aunt. And once my mom got cancer, she didn't say much of anything. No. No one said anything. You think she died of cancer? Uh, yeah. That's how she died. Uh, look, Taylor, I really gotta go. Um, it was really nice meeting you. Wait, what was that? It's nothing. Oh, don't worry about it. Look, the spells in this book are really powerful. Not for beginners, all right? Just stay away from it. All right, it was really nice meeting you. Traction and popularity. Salt and spoils of grace is immune upon your face. Send your most triumphant prince, and I will make him whole again. Azazel, come hence and grant me your grace, that I may obtain that hidden charm. I offer that of me into your open arms. Enter this temple for thee.
How's it going? Uh, I've been better. I was actually wondering, do you have any jumper cables? My car battery seems to be dead, and as fun as this has been, I'd really love to get back to reality soon. Yeah, I could jump you off. I just gotta wrestle some pigs and other sort of livestock first, but... Okay. <laughs> Would you want to get something to eat first? Yeah, yeah, I'm starving. Thanks. Okay. Cool, uh, just give me a sec, and I'll, uh, we'll get food and I'll jump you off. Cool. Can I get you guys anything else? Yes. More coffee, please. Okay. How about you, Shane? I'll take another cup. Thanks, Stevie. <laughs> she always look at you like that? Only when I'm with really pretty girls. <laughs> Which doesn't happen enough, I might add. Or ever, <laughs> if I'm being honest. You must have had a pretty rough night. You're already getting your fourth cup of coffee. Yeah, uh, I didn't sleep that well last night at some creepy old house. <laughs> I think it's haunted. Some weird stuff happened, so. What are you talking about? It's, uh, oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Can I get you anything else? How about you? I'm okay for now. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Um, are you gonna eat? Yeah, I'm just... Oh. Feel better already. Wow. 25 messages, geez. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's good. Better than good, actually. I want to have a party at my place. A party? With my band. Maybe it did work. What worked? What did work? Hey, girl. Yeah. Yeah, girl, I'm totally down. Invite, like, everybody you know. It'll be a blast. Yeah, okay, see you soon. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, do you care if we kind of head out of here soon? No, it's okay. We can go. Thanks. Yeah. Here she goes. Thank you so much for helping me with my car. I totally owe you one. Not a problem. Pleasure's all mine. Um, by the way, thank you for lunch today. Yeah. I had a nice time. Me too. You got some. I guess. Yes. <laughs> I agree. It's pretty quiet in here. You all need some music? We were actually just talking about setting up to play. Oh, right on, mm -hmm. amigo. Oh, yeah. Hey, Taylor. I gotta hand it to you. This place is pretty badass. Thanks. Wow. Oh, this is my uh, buddy Greg. He's an alumni. <laughs> Oh, hey, babe. Are you coming? Talk to y'all later. Taylor, you should talk to Greg. He can help you with that grade. OK. OK. All right, so do you want to show us things like this? Yeah, let's do it. Right. Right. We start spending quality time with high fives. Playing the kissing game, you were spending my vibes. And I was feeling yours, mercy, me and more. My perspective is one you never seen before. I bet you the I bet you win. I guess I start falling for you just too quick. Cause you start changing and let the cell phone ring. No more conversations. We left my brother hanging with no explanation. It's 
So the question is, do things exist even if there's no one there to observe them? I still don't understand why anybody would put a cat and poison the same box. It seems cool. No, no one actually put the cat in the box. It's just a metaphor for the observation experiment. What? Now I can see why you did bad on your test. Hey! Speaking of, Dylan said that you might be able to help me out with that because I failed my last exam again. And if I fail another one, I'm gonna lose my scholarship. So he said you might be able to do something to help. I can help. I charge a small fee. Like how much? A, a grand. A thousand dollars? Yes. I don't have that kind of money. Well, I accept other forms of payment. Okay. Ew, what are you doing? Are you kidding? Seriously, get out! I'm not gonna pour myself out for some grade! Is there a problem here? Yes, this guy's being super gross and creepy. Can you please just get him? All right, all right, let's go. Ugh. Are you okay? Yeah, did he try to do anything to you? Ugh. You okay? Uh, yeah, thank you for that. Appreciate it. Do you still have our equipment in your car? Yeah. Guys, are you saying what I think you're saying? Woohoo! I like where you're going with this. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. IG filter, fake it, fake it. Ain't got a brain, but can twerk it. That's it, fake hair and butt shots and whatnot. Catfish. 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 Don't fish. Just catfish. Hatred, 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 hatred. Guns in your video, fake it, fake it. Taylor, what did you do? Was it worth it? Destroying that family and mine because of your jealousy. Gotcha. What are you doing, boy? I'm gonna end this. No, you're not. How the hell are you gonna stop me? You can't even get out of bed. I'm not. You can't end something you didn't start. You should know this by now. You never were that bright, were you? Like your dumbass dad. I'm not gonna do the ritual. I'm gonna give this to their child, who happens to be a very powerful conjurer herself. Good luck. 
council won't allow it. Screw the council! As a matter of fact, why don't you see if they want to take you in? I'm done taking care of you. I don't want anything from you anyway. You don't know what you're up against, Jacob. It'll kill her and everyone she loves, including you! Opening a portal. Come back, let's go. Yo, come on, come on. This is just scary cat. Come on, let's have some fun. Come oh, on, stop it. What do you say? Here, read this one. Earth and water. Fire and air. Open a door that will change the air. planning on doing with that book is forbidden to be used without permission from the owner or the council look whatever business you have it's not with me it's with my uncle I'm just trying to help a friend my business is with you and your friend Get in the car. Now! Or something. I'm gonna get Taylor.
Taylor, what happened to Dylan? How the hell should I know? What goes on in that room? Nothing. What the hell are you talking about? He walked up a damn wall, Taylor. What happened? Is he gonna be okay? Does he have a pulse? Barely. You should call 911. Yeah. We need to get out of here. It has begun. I think we should try and stop her and help her before it's too late. It's already too late. So what, we just do nothing? No, you're going to do something. You're gonna get the other two generals and you're gonna bring them to us. And the council will decide what to do. Understand? I understand. I'll trust you'll do the right thing. Let's go. So, are you aware of them being on any drugs? No, I don't know about any drugs. Really? That's strange. Your friend said that you mentioned something about them being on mushrooms. I was making a joke. Now, let me guess. No one saw anything, right? We were playing on stage. How are we supposed to know? You've reached Mike. You know I'm either lounging on the French Riviera, cleaning up an old lady's vomit, or plunging a toilet. Take your pick. Either way, I'm not available. Leave me another message at the tone, and I'll call you back just as soon as I'm available. Thanks. Hey, Daddy. It's Taylor. I'm calling to say I love you, and I miss you. Um, I'll be coming home to see you tomorrow, so. Anyway, I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Coffee? Yeah. Come on inside. Okay. I know why you're here. What? How did you know? I got a letter from the school yesterday. But what are you talking about? Your scholarship? I don't even know how that happened. Taylor, you had a 1.9 GPA. What did you expect to happen? Can you please just pay for the last semester? I'm living paycheck to paycheck as it is. Look, you can sell your aunt's property. You can always move back here in the meantime. You can't just not finish school. I have one semester left. You can get a job and save up. Get a job and save up enough money and time for next semester? You should have thought of that last semester. OK, well, where would I even work? You can get on a crew with me. Get on clean toilets? You're right. No time to look pretty. 
yeah, well, why didn't you ever tell me that mom had a sister and that you guys used to do magic and stuff? I see you went out to the property. Yeah, and I'm guessing you know Jacob. Yeah, I do. He was just a little boy the last time I saw him. His parents were friends of ours. Jacob's grandfather was a powerful conjurer, a practitioner of ancient craft steeped in tradition. Chadrabo, Sema. His father fell in love with a woman who was arranged to be wed to Jacob's grandfather, even though they were decades apart in accordance with the old ways. Supposed to love me. Fred was furious that his bride was taken. He felt like his son had stolen his bride away from him and denied the old ways. This was a pale sacrifice against the pain she has caused me. To truly heal, this pain must last for generations. Fred couldn't put a curse on his own family. And that. We cry a greater price. So he placed it on us. But then he punished his children. He adopted Jacob. Raised him as his nephew. Save me! Fred blamed your mother and I for convincing Jacob's parents to follow their hearts. <laughs> Fred separated the spellbook into three in hopes that we would never be able to bring them back together and dispel the curse. And conjuring from one without the whole brings death to our family. How did Aunt Linda die? You don't want to know. Yes, I do. Please. She got sick after the ritual you performed in high school. Are you saying that I killed her? No, 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 no. Fred, Jacob's uncle, he killed her with the curse that he put on our family. Anytime one of us does a spell from the books, something bad happens to us. What would happen if I did magic again? Use your imagination. <sighs> Taylor, why is this here? I didn't know, I swear. Taylor, look at me. Did you perform one of the spells out of this book? No, of course not. Okay, good. Because that would be very, very bad. Twenty-four hours to replace me. Well, 
life goes on. Anyway, um, that guitar, it's part of the band's. Can I get it? How could I forget? You remind me all the time. It's in the closet. Thank you. I'll, uh, just take your time. I'm about to head back out. Let's go. It was nice to meet you. You too. What happened? I don't know, he just fell. Can't you do some spell that you've done, I don't know, with my mom or something? Maybe. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? What's wrong with him? He's dying. Thanks for coming, Jacob. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you today. This is the least I could do. <laughs> you smell great. Well, they grow all over the place out on the property. Are you telling me that you came all the way here just to give me flowers? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and to warn you. But I'm too late. What's happening to him? It's harvesting his soul. What is? An elemental being. An angel of destruction created to destroy bad souls. My uncle found a way to get one to do his bidding. Destroy souls? Yes. It locks them in a permanent state of torment until the life force runs out. My parents, your mom, your aunt, they're all suffering. Well, why hasn't anyone tried to stop them? There has to be something that we can do or someone we can get to help us. No one will touch it. All right, my uncle's a very powerful practitioner of the craft. Anyone who tries to eradicate it puts themselves and their families at risk. Okay, well, what about a doctor? A doctor's not gonna do anything for them. You know, what about my parents? They're your mom, your aunt. A doctor did nothing for them. Okay, well, there has to be something we can do to fix it. It's not that easy. But it can be fixed. In theory, yes. But it would be crazy to try and attempt it. Okay, well, I don't think we have a choice. So, what are our options? Do nothing and stay away from the craft until it runs its course. I can't do that. I can't let my dad die. 
Not after how I've treated him. He deserves better than that. Well, then you can fight this thing. It's your bloodline that's after now. But you should be putting your own life at risk, too. No, it's, it's not too late to do nothing. No, and save yourself and let the council sort this thing out. What is the council? The council is the process for sorting this thing out. It's your best bet. Okay, well, we don't have time to wait around for some council to decide if they will or will not help us. So what are we going to do to fix this? You'd need to be ceremonially clean. How long does that take? It takes time, a year, maybe six months. Well, we don't have six months or a year. So what are we going to do to fix this now? My dad is dying, OK? We can't just let him sit there and wither away. So what are we going to do to fix this and do it soon? We can start preparing. We need to do something about this now. No. What do you mean, no? What we need is time and patience. We don't have time for patience. Mike has fallen into the void. Let me go up there and let me do something about this. Let me finish this once and for all. This curse is like a shower of darkness. If you reach in to pull him out and you fail, you endanger her, yourself, your family, and you risk this entire council. Do you understand? Yeah. Good. Are we all in agreement? Excellent. I hope you're right about this. I just need a job to fill in for my dad for a couple weeks until he gets better. Let me get this straight. You want to work here till your dad gets better? Yeah, I do. You're spraying crap all over the room again. We don't have any clean towels. I'll be there in a minute. I can tell by the look on your face that this isn't the job for you. Wait, uh, please, can I have the job? My family really needs the money right now. Please. I didn't realize you had company. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go. Taylor, wait. It just happened. We were never together while y'all were dating. You know, save it. It's fine. Taylor, hold on. What? Well, what did you expect? You weren't exactly running for girlfriend of the year. Yeah, you're right. I'm actually here because I need your help. 
I need to do a seance to save my dad. And I have Riley and Christina and Anna, but I need you guys too. I, I thought you, you learned your lesson with that stuff. We'll help. I'll let the rest of the band know. We will? Yeah. We will. Thank you. very important that you all go home and get a good night's rest and come completely sober, not hungover or tired. Any weakness could attract undesired entities. This is absurd. Is it? Tell that to Dylan who's lying in a hospital bed in a coma. A coma? What is he talking about? It's nothing. He took some bad drugs and got sick. Besides, I don't see how any of this is going to work. He needs a doctor. All this hocus pocus stuff is meaningless. Didn't you tell me you saw Dylan crawl up a wall? How do you explain that? Okay, so, so what do we do next? Go home and get some rest. If we're successful and this thing comes, it's gonna take everything you have to complete the task at hand. Any distraction could be catastrophic. Okay, if this thing comes or whatever, what are we supposed to do? Just follow my orders, and you'll be OK. They're getting ready. The boy's teaching her spells. performing the ritual tomorrow. She's putting innocent lives at risk. Now, you told me to be patient. We're about to hit critical mass here. We're coming up on a point where this could hurt me. This could hurt you. This could destroy the council. Let me end this tonight. We can pull the strings of fate, but only so hard. Only her bloodline can end this. We can't do anything without the three journals together. Somehow. Somehow. You're clean. No food or drink for 24 hours. Yes. Your dumb college friends are going to show up. Yes, they'll be here. The chant memorized? Yes. I'm ready. I promise. Okay. Something feels off. It doesn't feel right. Every day my dad's getting sicker. We're ready. Everything's set up. We can do this. Okay. They're here. Come on, let's do this. Vidi Bus, Lonje and Bongo. Igatam exterminer. Quo no repicharient. Lucerno. Om repriam omnibus ad vos. Regi causa quo no nocheri. O peto ago primen. Oh, Something's happening. Brad, stay with us. I don't feel good. It's working. Just stay calm. Don't be scared. You'll attract something we don't want. It's freezing. 
Yes. <laughs> Is this real? Technically, yes. <laughs> Mom, please come with you. You're so beautiful. Mom, please. There are some things you need to finish up here first. What about your soul and, and dad's? I have to go now. What? I love you, sweetie. You be here for your dad, okay? You'll find it. Mom? Morning. How you doing? Some better days. Who's this hat? It's my uncle's. What's this for? The spell he uses at night. It's tied to all three books somehow. So I'm assuming you'll need all three to end it. Why are you just telling me this now? I just pieced it all together, I guess. Look, the council's looking for all three, so... I figured it's up to you to decide. I mean, I don't even know where my dad would have hit the last journal. Well, I really hope you can find it. Look, I'm probably not going to be around the next few days. I can't be here once the council finds out what I've done. Okay. Hey, Jacob. Oh, wait. I don't really know why you're sticking your neck out to save my dad and I, but thank you. I see light in you, Taylor. Even when you're hiding it under all that pain. And hiding that under that terrible attitude. You got this. I believe in you. Hey, it means a lot. Take care of yourself. good enough. Finish it. Copy that. Shaham Farash, 
Verit, verit, Petham, Sodirna, Fabir and Thal, Hairas, Kazmiel, Danuchar, Dumason, Estiot, Esperini, Soni, Esmoni, Nadru, Premi, Mandusin, Aliso, Cameron, Oyar. that last semester of college to get a nice big head start in the big city. About that, I might have already arranged to take care of mom's medical bills. And I'll figure out the rest later. What? Oh, sweetie, I can't let you do that. This is a chance for you to live your dreams. It's already taken care of, and for once in your life, you deserve a vacation. So take a break, Dad. I can't take a vacation. I can't leave my job. Yes, you can. I'll take all your shifts while you're gone. You're going to clean toilets. As a matter of fact, yes, I will. I'd like to see that. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna let you do that. Listen, get out of here, finish school. You always said there's nothing for you here. I'm not so sure about that. Little Jacob Robichaux? Mm-hmm. It's, uh, to see you all grown up. So, uh, Taylor here tells me that, uh, I owe you my undying gratitude. It was nothing. Plus, it was all Taylor. It's good to have you back. It's good, it's good to be back. Well, I... So, you guys... Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I love you. You too. Jacob. He was just helping me transfer off his property into my name. I guess something good may come out of his existence after all. Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad. You deserve it. So, uh, one more semester, then off to New York. I just want to see you. I'm really glad I got to know you. I'm really glad I got to know you, too. But I'm not so sure I'm ready to leave yet. Yeah? Yeah. Been waiting a while for that. <laughs> Me too. It's nice. <laughs> Yo, that chick was wild.